Hey everyone, welcome back to another Harvest Moon Wonderful Life video. I hope you're not getting sick of them. Um, this one is about tartan, and it's a hybrid crop guide type thing. Um, you could probably tell I'm not working off a script. I'm doing this off the cuff. It's kind of similar to the live stream environment. Um, if you want to check out my streams, twitch.tv slash jackduckgoose is there. Head on over, and I stream a lot, and it's usually this game. So yeah, just a little subtle plug there. So like I said, this is going to be off the cuff. Uh, I will make some mistakes. I will say uh, I'm not, there's not going to be too much editing. There will be some B-roll, but um, you know what? Let's just get into it. It's a, it's a tartan crop guide. Hey, everybody. This is editing version of me. I noticed this in post that I didn't even mention why I'm making this in the first place. Tartan has been confirmed as a character on the Japanese website, and it looks like there are some hybrid crops with these little lantern crop things. So yeah, that's why I'm making this. Back to real time, Jack. Um, tartan, tartan crop guide, target, tartan hybrid crop guide. So this is tartan. Um, if you guys don't know how to get them, a lot of people in the stream just, they didn't even try hybrid crops because they didn't know how to get them. You have to befriend Takakura for one. I usually do that with, um, making a lot of turnips in the first fall. Or are they in the summer? Whenever, whenever turnips are available, I think it's the summer and fall and winter. Um, I just make a bunch, and I make a bunch of light pickles and give them to Takakura because he loves cooked meals. Um, once you befriend him, you get into Chapter 2. Um, you get the cutscene by walking into Takakura's house when he's there. The easiest way to do that, and the most high probability way of getting the cutscene, is to tell Takakura to go buy an animal. And then the day he brings that animal to the farm, you go into his house at 7 p.m., that's how I found to have the highest probability of getting the cutscene and getting tartan. So tartan, as you can see here, is a two-headed sentient plant that takes seeds, crops, and can do two things. One, it can turn two crops into one type of seed, and it can take a seed and enhance that seed and make super seeds. Um, of course, to do that in the first place with any character in Harvest Moon, you have to befriend them. So the way you befriend Tartan, um, I've probably already befriended him before, um, but we'll see. Um, you just have to talk to him a lot, and then he'll give you this prompt. He'll say, hybrid, analyze, or want to talk. Um, you probably won't get hybrid your first try. You'll probably have to talk to him, get a couple of these screens, like four, five, six, maybe. Um, and then eventually you get this one, which is hybrid. Um, I'll go through analyze something. All it really does is you give him a, uh, a crop, a fruit so like you give him a tomato and he'll tell you oh yeah these can be planted and this time um it's really helpful with third generation and second generation crops because in this game obviously unless you're following a guide you don't know when you can plant those um so yeah that's all analyze something does want to talk he just talks about stuff he says some silly things but what we're here for and what we're going to start with is hybridizing so hybridizing is how you take two crops in my um Example, we got a strawberry and a tomato. And you're with this, with these two, let's see, I got my thing right next to me. Strawberry and tomato is a berry toma. So we're trying to make a berry toma right now. I got four um, strawberries and tomatoes because, and this is important, hybrid crops can fail with tartan. So there are two possibilities with hybrid crops, either it's a success or it's a failure. If it's a success, if it's a success, sorry, you get a brand new seed. This would be a second generation seed. Um, and that's great. That's what you want. If it's a failure, you just get a seed of the first fruit or crop that you put in there. So in my case, I'll probably get a tomato back if it fails. Um, so let's give it a whirl. Let's see if we're successful on the first time. Um, I'll speed up through his uh, animation. And I'll play the song, uh, I'll play both songs, Failure and Success, if we get it. I hope we get it. Um, and yeah, let's do it. So that means we have successfully created a hybrid crop. Um, it'll spit it out. I'm glad it was first take. That's amazing. 
So there we go. That's that is the success song. He made a strange plant. This is probably a berry toma seed. Spring, summer, fall is the season for this one. Okay, I guess he does spit it out. Um, so now I'm gonna say I'm done. Uh, that little prompt is wrong. If you want to be done with hybridizing, you say no. If you want to keep continuing, you say yes. So there we go. We did it first try. Fantastic. We got a berry toma seed. It's a level B seed. Um, and this comes into the next part of Tartan that makes him so important in this game, specifically if you want to do 100%. So as you can see, along with my crops, I have three seeds. Three seeds, three flowers. These flowers are um, flowers that can be collected just on the floor of the valley. So up seeds, you'll find up seeds in the winter. They are either between the little corridor next to, uh, on the riverbed, but between Vesta's farm and the dig site. Um, I'll throw in some B-roll here, uh, where you can find them. And, uh, you can find them south of the hut where Patrick and Casey live, where, uh, you can find a whole bunch of other forageables. Um, happy lamps are found, uh, by the riverbed between the, uh, bridge, the south bridge, and Gustafa's yurt along with um, the same place where the Epsies are, just south of Patrick and Casey's hut. Um, and, you know, to the west, we'll say it's the west, of Cody's uh, house. Gem soils are only found near the dig site. Um, they do blend into the ground, though, so make sure you look very carefully. Um, and these three flowers do three different things. So I will go through Tartan. Um, we're going to start with our new Berry Toma seed. Um, we don't have anything for him to eat. Um, I know he has hot tips, and these are um, some new seeds or recipes. Uh, I, I guess I'm still going to talk eventually. So it looks like we lost our, our hybrid thing, our hybrid prompt. So I'm just going to talk to him and cut to back. We uh, get the, the hybrid option again. So I will be right back as soon as possible, as soon as he stops talking. All right, we're back. We finally got the prompt. It took me about a minute. We went through um, a couple of talking prompts, but um, we're back. We're back to the hybrids. So with Tartan, as I said, you can enhance seeds. That's the second part of what Tartan does, other than combining two uh, vegetables and two fruits. Um, so again, we're going to select hybrid. We'll select our brand new berry toma seed. And first, we'll go with an up seed. Um, I'm going to save what it does. Um, because it's going to be pretty obvious, but when we when we do this hybrid, you're going to hear the second song, which if you're trying to combine two crops, it's a failure. But, but, if you're trying to combine a seed with a flower, it can't fail, but it just gives you the same song. So if you hear uh, this song when you're putting two crops together, that means it failed. But if you're doing anything with flowers, um, it's it comes out 100% every time. There is no failure. So um, I'm going to sit back, let you guys hear it, memorize it. So yeah, you can just tell that song is different. There's not a kazoo. I don't know what inf what instrument they use. But um, because it's a success, uh, Barry Toma Seed, yep, yep, yep. We are finished hybridizing. If we go back in... Um, look what we got. It's a Berry Toma Seed S. So that's what an Upseed does. An Upseed takes any crop, or sorry, any seed, and it turns it instantly to an S level seed. It's that simple, that easy, and we move on. You only get 10 uh, Upseeds a year. They tried to balance that, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's not too balanced. Uh, but we're going to go back into the hybrid. Um, and we're going to do happy lamps. Happy lamps, um, again, are found in the summer. And let's, uh, let's, let's do this one. See what happens. Let's see what happens. And we hear the same song. Um, but once again, uh, seeds and flowers do not fail. Uh, it'll just play that song. All right, and he tells you again, it's just a seed. We are done again, and if we go here, guess what? There's now a little green dot. 
So this green dot and what happy lamps do is that it makes it so that you can plant this seed, a berry toma, in any season that you want, regardless of whether it grows in it. So on my list, um, I have it, the berry toma grows from spring to fall. If I were to plant this in the winter, it would still grow. It's amazing. It's magic. Tartan is a magic plant. This is what he does. So that's what the uh, happy lamp in the green little dot mean. Um, and now we have one last uh, flower. Um, no, I do not have anything for you to eat. I do need something. I need a hybrid, of course. And so I take my now uh, rank S seed and plant anytime seed. That's what I call them. And I combine it with a gem soil, which is the flower that you can find in the dig site uh, during the fall. And this is what we call a super seed. It is a seed that has um, been enhanced to the max. This is as far as enhancements go. Are you finished uh, with the hybrid? No, but I actually am. That's just a bad prompt. And now that seed has a black dot. And then you can see on like the, uh, the, the, the seed package, um, it went from like a white background to a blue and a uh, black border maybe or a red border. I, I don't know what the border was. I don't remember. To a uh, red one. But this black dot is what you'll probably be drawn to. So... What this black dot means, um, and I'm going to kind of run out to the field here and hopefully not get any spoilers for you guys. Um, all right. Okay. So you see this field over here? This is the big field. Um, this is the most fertile field. If you plant your crops here, um, if they're S ranked, you know, they're not going to go down. Fun fact, if you plant your crops in one of the these fields, this field or that field, and especially if you don't um, make this checkerboard pattern, um, there is a high probability that S rank crops, A rank crops, B rank crops will fall down in a grade. Um, so that's why I use this field only for, for my crops. All these fields will be used for trees because trees don't matter where you plant them. But with, um, we'll go back to it, with this black dot, on the seed, um, that means I can plant this crop in any field, any field at all, and it won't go down in rank. Uh, the way that it's described online is that it helps with the fertilization process a gem soil does. Um, what that does exactly, I'm not 100% sure because the internet loves to make rumors about this game. I will be doing a big like experiment surrounding this black dot because my understanding of it is only that. You just plant it in whatever field you want. It'll be fine. You don't need to worry about it going down in value. In value and rank. Um, so that's what the uh, three uh, flowers do to enhance your seeds. Um, just a few tips and tricks uh, with this. I highly recommend... And it's, it's mostly around um, trees. So with tree seeds, um, I'll give you a little show... Um, tree seeds do not work with the flowers. I don't know what it is about this game, um, but let's uh, go get um, a couple tree seeds. Let's take a let's take one banana seed and one up seed, because you'll first think your first thought is like, oh man, that's that's just an easy way to get um, all the tree seeds and make easy money. Yes, it is, but um, if you're like me, you're just like, oh, I just want to make S rank tree seeds real quick. Um, we're gonna attempt to do that, just so that I can show you guys I'm not lying to your face. Um, so let's take this banana seed, the up seed, and try to combine them, and see what happens. And of course, he'll swallow everything. And you can see why a 100% run is kind of hard, you have to do this over 120 times. Um, with all your seeds. This crop won't get affected by flowers. Try another thing. So tree seeds do not get affected by flowers. Um, well, one, because the gem soil um, and the happy lamp won't do anything because tree seeds can be planted in any field regardless and they grow year-round. It's not like they grow in a certain season. They just flower and grow produce in a certain season. 
Um, the way to make S rank tree seeds is by using an S rank turnip. So you would, in this scenario, I'm going to show it again. Um, you would put your banana seed, and let's, we would pretend, just pretend that this tomato is a S rank turnip. You just do that. Again, seed on the left, flower on the right. That's another tip. I don't think you can do it the other way. It has to be seed on the left, flower on the right. Um, for making crops, hybrid crops, I don't think it matters. But when you're ever doing seed enhancement, or you're turning an S rank uh, tree into a, or an, uh, sorry, a B rank tree seed into an S rank tree seed, make sure that the turnip and the flower are on the right. Um, but if this were turnip, S rank turnip, it would uh, turn it into an S rank seed. All right, post editing Jack is back. This is the last time, I promise. Um, I said turnips were the only crop that would work with trees. It's actually any S rank crop. We actually tried it on the stream a couple days ago um, and it worked with S rank tomatoes. So I'm gonna put that clip here. All right, sweet, he doesn't need to. All right, we'll see if this works. I honestly don't think it will, but it's worth a shot. Grape seed. S rank tomato. Oh, hey, it does do something. So I guess it has to be any crop. Oh, it does work. Okay, so I guess it's just any crop. Any S rank crop will do the trick. Right? Yeah, okay, sweet. And yeah, you don't need turnips. It's just any S rank crop with trees. Bye. Uh, so as Tartan said, that's it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cut and dry. If you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to uh, address any possible questions you may have. Once again, uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, uh, subscribe, and my guy's hungry. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, hit the bell, and if you want to check out streams, uh, I stream a lot, as I said earlier. Uh, follow me on Twitter, on Twitch. That's the, probably the easiest way to get notifications, and uh, join the Discord, because I post there every single time I go live, and that's the number one place where we talk, have conversations, talk about the game, talk about the remake. It's a great time. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in another video, and I'll see you later.